Hey, I'm Captain Harry Vernon III here from Captain Harry's Fishing Supplies, and I'm going to give you some of my fishing tips and some of my favorite lures that I use for offshore trolling. These are some of my favorite baits that I like to use, and uh, what's great about this, these particular baits is they're small. I like these guys out on the riggers, and I like to use chuggers while I'm out there on the riggers. And what I'll do is I'll use a pen rig on here, which you can see right there. And with the copper wire, I'll put a ballyhoo on this guy, a medium size to a small ballyhoo, and I'll slide the lure right over it. You got the copper wire in here that I like to use to wrap up the, the beak on the ballyhoo. I'll use 80 pound test mono. You can use uh, flora or regular mono. It doesn't matter to me when I'm trolling. Uh, some people prefer the floro, but uh, I use six to eight feet of that. And also I'll use a, a loop at the other end. And why I use a loop at the other end, I can just snap on and snap off rigs all the time, several times. So you get a fish, you throw it in the boat, unsnap it, off you go. This, this particular little Islander lure, uh, sail lure, is good. It's got the nylon. It holds up really good for a long, long term uh, when you're fishing. Uh, another good one of my favorites that I've been using recently, this is the Alamarada Flyer. This guy here has just been a really killer. It's got the little wings on the side. Same deal, 80-pound mono with a 7.0 Mustad hook. And what's good about this guy here, if you look in there, see how big that hole is on the nose of that guy? So you get a fish, throw it in the boat, you can unsnap your snap swivel and just slide this guy right off and slide it right on top of another rig and off you go with the same lure and keep on catching fish. Again, it's another small lure. It's approximately five and a half, six inches long. Uh, you, if you open a dolphin and most of the fish you're catching offshore, tunas, they're all little, little baits inside of them. You don't see too many big, big baits. Now, one more off the rigger. One of my favorites right here. This is called the Blue Boy. They have different ones in this series but this this one here the iridescence in this thing are just incredible when the sun hits this it'll blow your mind the whole the, the head everything just glows on this guy and what i like about these chuggers these type of baits and these lures is say it comes up it gets hit the value who gets knocked off smashed keep on going don't stop boat because they're going to keep on chugging they're going to be blowing smoke they're going to be coming up and doing what they do now the purpose i like all these little chuggers is when you're offshore trolling you'll see those flyers come up out of the water and they go back down in the water and they leave a big old smoke trail behind them so that's what these particular lures do is they come up you want them to come up chug just go down below the surface a couple inches or whatever come back up chug back down you don't want them flopping and skipping because they're just going to get hung up on themselves uh here's another guy same rig same style this is a little mole craft this is the uh Little hooker, 1100 series, five and a half inch. This thing is super soft. It's a great lure. I've been marlin trolling and using the bigger uh, mold craft lures, and I've seen uh, I've seen the billfish come up and hit it again and again and again. So I kind of like and favor uh, this particular type of lure being a soft head because I think the fish hit it uh, several times, which I like. It's a great bait over the ballyhoo or just plain. You can use it either way. It's a, it's a good little deal. Now, what I like to use on my flat line, which is straight back, not on the rigger. I love using these little turbo CNH turbos. This is without a ballyhoo. And what we'll do is we'll rig it with a little bead there, little bead stopper. And what that does, it keeps the lure from jamming into the, to the sleeve. Again, another double strength 7 -0 hook slides right down these guys are absolutely deadly for blackfin tunas bonitas uh, a couple years ago i caught a nice blue marlin on this thing little little blue uh, sailfish everything eats these guys and they're they're not heavy but they go through the water like like a say a thread fin or something going through the you know bait fish darting through the water which is a really good deal uh, another style right for the flat line is this is a uh a good red eye lure with the aluminum head it's super light this particular guy i like on the flat line and it's got the little jets on the side so it's going to blow out a lot of smoke cause a little more commotion this guy's a little bit longer which is okay but if you want to cut it down make it any size you want you can also do that so that's what's cool about this little guy here all right now 
when you're fishing, you got all these things, when you rig all this stuff, you curl up your little, your mono leaders. What I don't like about the little curls is when you uncurl it and you unravel it, it's all twisted up, curled up, and it's just kind of sloppy. What I like to do is I'll just take and make a big loop and I won't take the mono and wrap it around and around and around. What I like to do is I'll get a lure bag, which is like this right here. It's got the nylon on the backside and it's clear on the other side. So all you're gonna do is just drop this guy right in there. Turn it around here. Drop this guy right inside that lure bag. You can put two or three in there with no problem at all, wet. Zip it shut, throw it in your tackle bag, your tackle center, wherever you want. It's got the nylon on the back, it's gonna dry out and not get all moldy and everything like that, which that happens on the boat quite often on a lot of boats that I've been on. So that's just a tip that I've got for you. And uh, all these lures, everything I've got here, will help you catch a lot more fish. So get out there, tight lines, and good luck catching.